I may not exactly know what an NFT is, but it clearly has all the makings of a scam to me. Like any good swindle, NFTs try to push you into a room full of its buddies who are in on the scam as they pretend not to know each other while telling you how great NFTs are. However, what would happen if these scam artists got pushed into a room of our choosing instead? Well, that's precisely what Great Pretender aims to do, as it lulls the equivalent of scumbag patrons from Epstein Island into a room full of relatable characters that Dr. Phil the shit out of greedy sociopaths by exploiting them harder than the girls from backroom casting couch. So, if you're German, or someone that takes pleasure in watching Bob Kodak getting sodomized, then stick around because Great Pretender might be that healthy dose of schadenfreude you've been missing in your anime watching experience. Great Pretender follows Makoto Edamura, who is self-proclaimed as Japan's greatest swindler. After swindling a foreign tourist, Makoto finds himself in hot water as he gets a taste of his own medicine. This unfortunate event leads to Japan's greatest swindler falling under the tutelage of a true master conman as he takes Makoto all around the world to pursue the fat pockets of powerful and corrupt individuals. Those that enjoy heist-related media will find the variety of missions in Great Pretender satisfying as the characters tactfully navigate and deceive greedy sociopaths, ranging from settings in the drug manufacturing labs of Hollywood, all the way to the corrupt world of sports betting, posh fine art auctioning, and of course, East Asian human trafficking. Throughout the adventure, there's no shortage of suspenseful tension as Great Pretender consistently depicts our characters biting off more than they can chew, while having the audience constantly thinking, how the hell are they going to weasel out of this one? And just when you think the solution is obvious or too predictable, the show pulls a fast one on the viewer, as the twists and turns have you equally bamboozled as the characters of the show, while never delving too deep into anime trope territory or requiring a fantastic suspension of belief to comprehend what just transpired. However, it's not only suspenseful heists that makes Great Pretender enjoyable, as the show delivers cathartic storytelling to the victims of the corrupt and unresolved backstories of the main characters. Those that watch for high-stakes scams and a sense of adventure will not be disappointed, while the cathartic resolution of each heist adds a layer of relatability and groundedness that will likely bring a level of emotional investment you weren't expecting with the characters. So, with that being said, let's talk more about the characters of Great Pretender. First, we have Makoto Edamura, who unwillingly gets affiliated with the international team of con artists at the start of the show. As the newest member of the crew, Edamura gets pushed around a lot, as his inexperience and naivety becomes obvious when juxtaposed to the other members of the team. Because of this, Edamura becomes the butt of most jokes as his new teammates roast him by constantly getting his name wrong, pronouncing Edamura as Edamame throughout the show. This is especially funny when you consider the fact that most of the people calling him Edamame are hyperpolyglots that are able to speak several languages with perfect dialects. Cheers, surrendering a shabby! However, it's not always fun in games for Edamame, as his light-hearted demeanor and initial naivety get put through the ringer, as his dark backstory re-emerges during missions, and it's this resolution of his past that leads to a character arc that is so much more than a soy boy experiencing Stockholm Syndrome. Next, we have Abby, who acts as the muscle of the crew, on top of being a convincing actor during missions. Like Makoto, Abby doesn't really partake in the brainstorming aspect of infiltrations. However, unlike Makoto, Abby is the only member of the crew that lacks a nickname, which says a lot about her personality. As an abrasive and strict character, Abby can be a bit intimidating at times, but there is a considerate heart under her walled off demeanor that gradually sheds its skin as both Makoto and the viewer learn more about her past. Also, her deadpan delivery adds a nice addition of dry humor to the show. It's time to go! One minute. We're playing games! Come on, we gotta go! Cynthia is one of the two masterminds for the crew, as her utility ranges from being a convincing actor all the way to running point on missions. As a red-headed bombshell, Cynthia takes a lot of pride in her aesthetic appeal, which leads to a lot of funny moments where she snaps when her appeal is not acknowledged. On top of that, Cynthia is usually seen binge drinking red wine, which makes her relatable for a lot of the miserable viewers, while leading her to receive the moniker of Drunk Lady or Drunk Woman. However, Cynthia is more well adjusted than she lets on, as her bittersweet backstory is a nice change of pace from the dark past of Edamura and horrifying history of Abby. Last we have Laurent, who is commonly referred to as the blonde asshole by the rest of the crew. Laurent being the blonde asshole is defined by his charismatic persuasiveness and quit wit, 
as he frequently helms missions while instigating people. Laurent may come off as humorous and silly most of the time, however, beneath his witty demeanor lies a vindictive man that fuels every mission and task all for the culmination of revenge. Because of Laurent, Great Pretender becomes more than a set of individual scams and missions put together, as the show's conclusion makes it feel like a culmination of scams layered within other scams and adds a nice touch of cohesiveness to the story. Also, Laurent is an all-around funny guy. Oh great, rain. I've got room. Huh? <laughs> hey! Oh. Cynthia made lunch, so hurry up and get your ass out of bed. <sighs> Brutally thrown back into reality. As you probably already noticed, the art of Great Pretender is highly stylized in a way that delivers a vibrant personality to environments, while still maintaining its original identity via attention to detail. Here, we have a vibrant scene of Singapore that still looks like Singapore to those familiar with the opulent design. Here, we have a stylized version of Shanghai's skyline, while still maintaining the relevant architecture that makes it distinct. And here, we have an accurate but gloomy pit of despair that is London, which helps the viewer understand why people binge drink over there. Just like the many spoken languages and dialects of the show, the attention to detail in the artwork enhances the international experience as the lavish background art and diverse set of locations provides a large sense of adventure that has it feeling like an open world video game as the crew tackles missions in locations such as California, Singapore, France, England, China, and Japan. Also the great usage of color, except in London, provides an exotic animation that is unique even by anime standards. Great Pretender is an anime that encapsulates a sense of adventure with its diverse cast of characters and stylized visual locations. There are aspects of corruption and abuse that accurately reflects reality, but those looking for a thought-provoking plunge into society will probably have to look elsewhere. Instead, Great Pretender focuses on thrilling heists and infiltrations with a cheeky cast of characters that are reminiscent of the gangs in Cowboy Bebop, Space Dandy, and to some extent, Black Lagoon. However, what really solidifies the connection between those shows and Great Pretender is the ability to provide backstories that grounds the characters despite engaging in all sorts of fantastical mayhem. Those seeking adventure, cheeky banter, and suspenseful heists will likely have an enjoyable experience with Great Pretender, while being pleasantly surprised at how emotionally invested you are with the characters and their backstories. So, if you're not some corrupt CEO, I'd recommend you grab a beer, or a bottle, and give Great Pretender a go, as the crew flees the scumbags for everything they're worth in this satisfying anime about scam artists.